My name is Vahid Chitza, as part of Elite Mastermind Group. This is where we talk about Dr. Hill's principles and philosophies. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're coming in from also, too. All right, yes, sir. So my name is Felix Winkleman, tuning in live from Luxembourg right now. But I'm not from Luxembourg. I'm just here doing to build my business. Uh, I'm from Berlin, Germany, from the eastern part of Germany. Many people maybe know the history, maybe not. Come from a very humble background, environment, not big dreams, no big goals. But anyway, somehow, somehow my mind made it possible to believe big and then dream big and achieve big. So Felix Winkelmann, 24 years old, young, living in Germany, um, right now living basically in the airplane. And um, yeah. Awesome. What do you want to know? <laughs> Go Rich. How old were you or how many years ago did you get introduced to thinking Go Rich? And what was your first encounter or the initial encounters? Well, it's not that long ago, to be honest. I'm involved in entrepreneurship and in um, like personal development only for four years now, three and a half years, or approximately three and a half years. Before that, I was not into books. But Think and Grow Witch was one of the first books I read, or to be honest, I basically heard it at an audio the first time. But then also got the paper version, or an old friend of mine got it, and then also read it. And um, so it was three and a half years ago. I'm 24 years now. Until I was 21, I have never read a book. Even in school, the books which are maybe cool or sound cool, I even not read them. I just went on Wikipedia and then did the 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 easy way, the easy way, and then just I got a um, how do you say it, like um where you have the whole book in just one paper. Summary. This is how I read books summary. back in the day. The summary. summary. But since I realized that books can actually bring you knowledge and knowledge can actually change your thinking and this can make you rich, not just money-wise, but also when it's about like friendships, relationships, your health, whatever, everything. You can be so rich. Many, many people, even if they don't have a lot of money, they're already rich. They don't just recognize it. So when I realized that books can bring me to where I want to be, no, first I got, a, I got to make sure that I know where I want to be. I didn't know that. And then I realized, okay, books can bring me there. And then I started reading. Before that, I, was, I always thought that, that parents or grown-ups, they only read because they want to spend some time and they have an hour and they don't, don't know what to do. So... I thought, yo, you read books in that time? I think watching TV is much cooler and funny. So I watch TV because I thought, yo, it's a better way to just waste time. <laughs> yes. I so, love it. I love it. So here's my ago. question. Here's my three question. Mm -hmm. When you started, so my first thing is this. If you had to go back today to three yeah. and a half years ago, if it was a time machine, and you could meet yourself, and, and you're sitting at a coffee shop in Berlin, Germany, right? You're sitting over there. You meet Felix. You're like, Felix, listen, man, I'm from the future. I'm going to tell you what you need to do. What would that recommendation be? To read more books? Wow. What would be your recommendation to yourself in, in, in the past three and a half years ago? Um, first of all, amazing question. I love that. I love that keeping putting me into a time machine and bringing me back three years ago what advice would i give to felix who's 21 sitting in berlin in his one room flat um i would basically just say yo start being coachable right now not just in a year because i am coachable and i guess it is a reason it is, a, it is a very, very, very important thing to, to reach high levels of success. Um, but I started to be coachable just one and a half years after I um, started my first entrepreneurial journey. So I would tell him, yo, start being coached, humble yourself right now, and then just listen to people who have what you want. Don't take advice from people who don't have at least six more commas behind the one on their account than you. So this would be the first advice. And second, 
dream much bigger and much faster. I already dreamed big, but thinking back, I could have dreamed even bigger. I could have dreamed even bigger. And you know how they say, dream big, this, this is the man. Now, what, they, what, what do they say? Small, small dreams, bring, dream big dreams, small dreams have no magic. Small gems. I don't even want to mention the word small gems. So just, yeah. we only do big stuff. If it's not, listen, if you're not going to go for the moon, you know, th there's no, there's no point of it, you know, just going no. around the orbit, running around the, the earth ain't going to do nothing for you. You just want to go all out. And the only people that are becoming successful that are the ones that are just going all out crazy and, and they get to, you know, they get to yeah. where they want to go. That's it. Yeah. You have to be very unrealistic with your goal. Yeah. People that are realistic with their goals, don't make it. They're not fulfilled. You're not going to change the world. Now, obviously, I understand if you're a single mom and single parents and your goal is to make two, three, four thousand dollars extra every single month. That is cool. You got to do that. But I'm talking about once you establish that, once you got that, now, now you don't have to worry about your livelihood. You got enough money coming in. And I tell people, you know, especially younger entrepreneurs like yourself, I'm like beyond a hundred thousand dollars. You should not be thinking a million. You should be thinking a billion. Because if you got million. the first hundred thousand, yeah. you got food, you got car, you got transportation, you got the basic needs of life taken care of. Now go yeah. all out. Go crazy. Go for yeah. the billion. Go, go for the million. Go for the billion. So that's that's where the big dreams come in. And you know what? You just said you got to dream unrealistic goals. And the crazy thing is your decisions should even be maybe not don't say let's don't say unrealistic but um like unlogical not logical do you know why because the 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 dreams we have and the the things you want to achieve in a young age i mean i'm 24 years old right now until the end of this year until the end of this year i'm gonna hit 100k a month and this is so unrealistic and unlogical that we have to take unlogical decisions. And this is it. I for agree many with people, that this, wouldn't, this, yeah. this doesn't make sense for many people right now. But I think that a few people on this live call right now, they will understand what I mean. And then, uh, like, I could, I could tell you so many stories of the last three and a half years where, where I took decisions where most people would say, are you crazy? Yes, I am. My dreams are crazy. That, that's yes. how it is. It's you go all out and put... Now, now here's, here's to, another thing to. I wanted to mention. You're not saying be lazy, sit at home, work on a laptop, and you're going to get $100,000. That's what I think a lot of people don't get, that there's a lot of hard work. And I tell you this, last week I found out, I was talking to one of these gurus. He's got the laptop life, lifestyle. He makes <laughs> about $200,000 every month, you know, more or less here and there. A couple of deals, you know, bigger, smaller, doesn't matter. But when I looked at it, I said, dude, I would love to have that. You know, you're chilling this, this. He goes, well, you know what, Baid? Let me tell you what I don't usually say to people. And I said, you know, go ahead and tell me what's going on. He goes, the first year I was in business doing the same thing that I do, he accumulated over $450,000 of debt. Oh. Literally just in the past six months, he's been able to kind of pay those off and just start at Crazy. a zero level. Imagine what kind of a mental toughness do you need to have Resilience. for you to owe $450,000 and is still pushed through because that's like a, that's like a mortgage without the house. So yeah. imagine how many more people... You're, you're doing it at a zero level. You're going all out and people are calling you crazy. Yeah. Imagine what can we call this guy? He's 450,000 negative and he's going crazy. So yep. he's like super crazy, right? Tough guy. So Resilience. That's, that's what a lot of people don't see is that there is a lot of hard work. There is a lot of time. There is a lot of nights sleeping at night. There's a lot of times you have to sleep in the office. There's a lot of times that you got to go in the bathroom the and car. change your clothes. You, exactly. You live in the car, you live in a plane, whatever. It doesn't matter. You're not at home. So there's a lot of time that goes into it. And if you're listening to this live or at some point, we're, you're going to listen to this podcast, whatever, however you get this content. 
Nobody lazy ever makes it. Simple. Nobody ever lazy makes it. The people that make it are hardworking, crazy people that go out to win for their goals and yes. dreams and for their families. Flat Because out. Hard, hard works, guys. Works. That's it. Hard work works. But you also got to work smart, obviously. I and agree with that. There's nothing wrong with that. And also, you, you got to feed the physical side of success too. But like also Grant Cardone said it with Alex Morton in the interview, he said that the, the, um, the law of attraction wouldn't work without, without the law of action. So you gotta, gotta, gotta definitely uh, attract things into your life and manifest. And I'm a big fan and believer of keeping your high frequencies high and vibrating on the right level and having the right thoughts, putting out the right words because of our words and our thoughts, they create our reality. But it's also a lot of hard work to do, especially in the first few years to launch a business. It's like an airplane. An airplane uses like 90% of the whole, what is in there? Uh, kerosene, kerosene, kerosene. I don't know the, 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 the fuel, fuel they, they, they fuel. fuel. Yeah. Fuel. 90%, 90% to go on 10,000 feet. And then afterwards, they pull the trigger mm. to the, I don't know, medium That size. I don't know. Yeah, no, just and, and a few a few months ago, um, I was still kind of hoping that people who don't put the work in in the first few months, that people who don't go crazy, can also become successful, especially for example in the affiliate marketing or network marketing industry, for example. Yeah, because you got you you want people to to become successful, and then they tell you, yeah, I gotta work, and I can maybe just invest an hour a day, and I. I used to be in this mentality to say, yeah, okay, we can get there still. We will, we will still make it, of course. Like, just, ah. But now I realized it's not possible. At a specific point of your career, no matter if you want to make 100K a month or just 1K a month, no matter if it's in real estate or insurance or network marketing or whatever, or training, whatever, or e-commerce, whatever, you got to go crazy. You gotta go crazy even if you just want to make a K a month. Like, you gotta get, go crazy like a hundred K a month. And then if you want to hit the next steps and do quantum leaps, you gotta make sure that you don't do the same things you did to become on the one K level again. You gotta step up. And this just doesn't mean it's always to work harder. No, 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 no. It sometimes just needs some, some more, um, some more skill set or some more like bird view, I always say, to, to have a look on your organization, for example, to, to know what's the next move because your moves should always be planned. Yes. I agree with that 100%. Listen, Flix, I thank you so much for spending this time with us this morning um, or this afternoon over there. But uh, hopefully we'll get to do more. I'm looking of forward to more of your success. Uh, I, I appreciate you sharing these nuggets with everybody. And I know everybody... <laughs> I appreciate you. It starts with the book. Everybody, Felix said it. You got to go read the books. You, you read the books. It gives you knowledge. Then you put it to work. You put it to action. Then becomes power. So, By itself, is not power. That's true, man. That's true. You, I mean, the stuff is out there. The information is out there. The knowledge is out there. People, please stop. If you hear somebody like excuses, no matter if it's I don't have the time, I don't have the money, whatever, like... There's no excuse in 2019. Nobody can tell me you don't have the money or the time and nobody can tell you don't know how to do it. It's there. Look at the book. Get the audios. Follow it. some Love mentors. It. There are so many mentors online you can just follow Ooh, and so then many get many in many contact. Many. Yeah. That's I it, love guys. It. Thank you so much for being with us today. Hopefully Thank we'll you. get to do more. Uh, my team is going to reach out. I got a few things we need to collaborate especially if you're over there on the other side of the world. You could do a yes. lot of stuff. Thank you so much, brother. Talk to you later. Thank you for making this happen. And I see you very, very soon, guys. See you at the top. Peace. Bye-bye.